I'm making butter chicken for dinner. This is uh, cubed chicken thighs, skinless, boneless chicken thighs cubed. And I have been marinating it for an hour and a half in yogurt and a mixture of garlic and ginger and some spices. I put um, turmeric and paprika in it and garam masala and I mix it all in the yogurt and put it mixed it together and now I'm melting butter in peanut oil to fry uh, and saute the chicken in before I put the chicken in a broth I mean uh, yeah not broth but sauce all right the chicken is cooked and I'm working on making the broth the sauce, it's not going to be brothy, it's going to be saucy. This is fresh ginger and fresh garlic. I'm going to saute it in some ghee. I am not going to add um, tomato sauce. I do not like tomato sauce with ginger. It doesn't go together for me. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to put the cashew liquid in, which is what I made myself some cashews. I've made hot water and I I uh, rehydrated the cashews in uh, hot water. And then I put it in this little um, small uh, blender and made it into like a thick um, sauce to use. The rice is about ready and the chicken will go into the sauce once I got the sauce all built. Now, I guess people use the tomato sauce in, in uh, butter chicken sometimes because it makes it red, like the traditional is red. This is cumin powder, ground cumin. Um, I guess they think that's how people uh, the original is red, but it's not. It's red because they use cashmere chili powder in it. Now this is garam masala powder. I'm going to put a little um, paprika for redness. I have a child that has a he developed acid reflux, and I don't know how. He might have eaten too much spicy food or something. It is not, it's not working for him anyway. So uh, I have to tone down the spice level. Um, so I'm toasting the spices, but I'm not making it real hot. I'm just going to put a little bit of cashmere um, powder in but we don't want to overdo it. Just a little for color. Now I'm gonna put <coughs> spice. <coughs> that is my, um, I'm gonna turn this down. It doesn't need to be that hot. I put it on high, but now I put it <coughs> medium less than medium, medium low, because I don't want to burn it, but I'm going to add some more liquid to this too, to, that's, I put some water in to, to help deglaze, deglaze the sauce, should have had the water ready gotten it in sooner. Now, I'm, um, the recipes I read said to put heavy cream and tomato sauce and I just see that curdling. I don't think that will be a good combination. Also with lemon in it. <laughs> I think they're getting very bold there. So this is how my sauce looks. It doesn't look overly red because I I just put a little bit of that red spice in. 
Now I'm gonna add the chicken in. I've added enough with butter and yogurt. So I mixed one a can of unsweet coconut milk in here. Um, and it's perfect now. But I also have this broth here. I made a mess. I sure did make a mess. <laughs> but I deglazed the pan I used to fry the chicken. And I'm going to pour that broth in here too. All right. So that is it. I'm going to let it simmer. Probably uncovered because that's enough liquid. I think that looks pretty good. Is it ready yet? You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Get a spoon and give it a lick. Why is it back in there? Huh? Isn't it too hot? Just don't take a whole spoonful, just take, take a lick.
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Joe, you want a bowl of uh, mm -hmm. rice? So there's at least dinner, and it tastes really delicious. And the the um, butter chicken is is um, keto. I'm gonna let it simmer for a bit, and I'm gonna have mine on a. But I don't feel hungry now. I'm just gonna have leftovers tomorrow if there are any left, and I'll eat mine on a riced cauliflower. Yep, it's simmered all over. Now the flavors are all blended and simmered together. Simmering helps them. Looks delicious to me. Like father, like son. When I stepped outside, Buggy was asleep, snuggled next to his dad up there on the hood of my van. <laughs> they were so cute, snuggled together up there. I think the trunk, I mean the hood, feels warm because um, I drove it this morning. And also, it gets warm in the sunshine. That's my baby. <laughs> Nakia was going to throw her dolly away. But I told her if she doesn't want it, I do. And it's sometimes when I'm uh, almost asleep, I think that one of my babies is beside me. <laughs> Even though they're big already. He used to sleep next to me. So cute. You're going to have to back up. I can't, I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> it's not going to work. Uh, no, it's not going to work here. It is. No. It is. I, I, I lost a lot of weight, but... On the curb, now we use our other foot to sit I right still... Right, I'm still short, honey. Try. Even though out. I lost a lot of weight, I'm still short. <laughs> I can't... Yes, you can. You're, 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 you're far away from it. <laughs> the boys are bringing me a chair. Yeah, so let's put this chair down here. See? Well, I'm going to turn it the other way. Now, maybe I can climb in. Bismillah. Oh, yeah. Mama, okay. Can leave this chair here? Take, no, take the chair in the house. I won't need it because I'm not getting out. Why? I'm just going to sit in the car. No.